Tachi where today gonna be playing some Pokemon Quest continuing off where we left off yesterday not 100% sure to be honest where I left off yesterday but I will figure it out and I know I believe it was Expedition 8 where I was recapping but again I'm not 100% sure I shall figure it out oh okay now I do remember today gonna be a great day why Expedition bonus one cooking almost completed two Gonna purchase more things from the store. Three. New Pokemon and Pidge. Wow, hiccups. Great timing. Ooh, level 30 Pidgey. Nose. Whirlwind. And Gust. That's actually pretty good. <coughs> Not 100% sure why I have yet to see a Pidgey up until now. But, uh, yeah. That's the first Pidgey I have seen all game. For me to get. Alright, uh, we have 125. I should be able to purchase the hundo. Where's the hundo? Squirtle flag, you know what's up. I <coughs> uh, believe that was it. Let's go ahead and uh, add the squirtle flag somewhere. New. Oh, okay. Actually, that's a pretty cool spot. I like that. I like that. Alright, so we're going to continue off uh, boosting up the Pokemon that we currently got on the team. Continue where we left off yesterday. Expedition grinding. And then we might play some Magic Hub Jump after. Depending on how fast or short or quick. You never know how, how long this live stream is going to be. Because I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so we got that level 30 Pidgey now. Um, might be able to use that towards uh, some leveling up later. But uh, without further ado, we got that expedition bonus and cooking that is about to be completed with this next expedition. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into one. Seven we've recapped. We were on eight, and we were recapping eight, I believe. But then again, I believe we gave 8-5 an attempt. Did I? Not 100% sure, so I'll just do 8-4 just in case. <coughs> we shall figure it out. I remember I gave myself... I think I gave myself... Uh, I gave an attempt on uh, Expedition 7, so we'll figure it out, though. I'm going to keep this on uh, auto until I need to step in. Doing good so far. But, uh, yeah, for those of you wondering, training-wise, I am looking to uh, switch out takedown for something for Flareon, as well as light screen on Alakazam, and most likely bubble on Cloyster. Those are the three moves that I need to go ahead and train. Unless I get a, a Pokemon, such as Geodude, that I can evolve into a Graveler and then into a Golem. The best defensive tank in the game. It would be nice to get a couple of psychic and fire type Pokemon to go ahead and power up Flareon and Cloyster though. I mean, Alakazam, sorry. What's up, Sylveon? How's it going? Looking forward to it for sure. Licky Tongue. So did I do this one yesterday? I'm not 100% sure. I really don't remember doing it. I think this is the one I was about to do. But it don't matter. I had to buy a subscription to use the music for SB on video. <laughs> what did you have to pay a, a subscription for? Like where? Was it expensive? Why do you have to pay for a sub? Could you not find it on YouTube?
Ah, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, we're definitely capable of being able to complete this on auto. Sadly, Flareon over there just spewing a flamethrower, but uh, we're, we're still good. That's weird. I've never heard of that. No, Cloyster. Withdraw, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're good. Computer's playing this one very good. It would be nice if it just ran away right now, but it's all good. Alakazam back up. Flareon just about to get back up as well. Get a nice flamethrower right there, right there. Perfect. It's perfect spot. It makes no sense why you would use takedown with such little health. <clears throat> Especially when it's not attacking you. Now, if it was going to attack you, yes. What's up, Dark Sin? Wow. Flareon got back up quick. Alright, so we just got the expedition bonus. We uh, just uh, hood up, hick, uh, cooked up some cooking. Cloyster and Alakazam about to level up two. Oof, that is nice. That is a really nice stone. Let's go ahead and add that to, uh, I believe Cloyster will take that. Pretty sure Cloyster is going to take that one. Um, yeah, let's check out Cloyster first. I'm giving Cloyster all the good sturdy, so you can have a pretty beast tank. Sadly, Cloyster's n oh, Cloyster is definitely going to take it. Um, what's the lowest one? So this is a 307. Uh, hitting it up into a 297. Go ahead and pop out into Alakazam. Alakazam want that? Alright. Let's give it to Flareon. Alakazam don't need. Uh, 276. Yep. Perfect. Alright, back out we go. Let's go ahead and grab that cooking. See what we cooked up in the cooking pot. I'm still shocked. That was the first time I was ever given an EV in this game. But for those of you tuning in, again, thank you all very much for tuning in to youtube.com slash for the win Hachi. Much appreciated. Check out the description box down below. And of course, if you got any questions or comments, post in live stream chat or comment section down below. Alright, let's see. Mobile against two a la cube, XL size, as well as good. Not great, but it's good. So that's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and see what juicy Pokemon we gonna grab here. I'm actually confused. That looked like a, a bear of some sort. Oh my gosh, it was a Kefleri, level 60. What? What's up with... Oh my gosh, I get these high-level Pokemon and they're just movesets. They're such trash. Give me something good for once. Alright. Trying to save up those Rainbow Matters. That's actually a pretty good cooking. Let's go ahead and do that one. Three? Nope, five. Yep, perfect. We're going to get one more Pokemon out of this. So let's just go ahead and keep spamming in Expeditions. Without further ado, I am going to go ahead and do 8-3 just in case I didn't do that one. Now you know what? Let's just skip it. Let's go to 8-5. Give this one an attempt. See what we can do. We did get 7-5 in attempt. However, for some reason, Expedition 7 is a little bit more difficult than 8. Let's see what we pick up from this one. What type of Pokemon? I forget. They were, they have been a mixture of water types. Okay, nope. We're good. Like, I would love to hit them, but uh, sadly I don't want the knockback. Okay, now we're good. I didn't want the knockback out of the flamethrower. Yep, 
These Jigglypuffs, man, they freaking tanky as. But we got through that first stage pretty good. I would really love to get another expedition completed today. But I do know we're going to get a lot of decent leveling up good today, so we'll figure it out. Alright, start off with some AoE. And hit him up. That Clefairy taking a huge L right now. I need to get a withdraw in. Finish that one off for me, Cloyster. Alright, so we definitely gotta complete this. I would, I would, okay good, perfect. Hit him up with the bubble. Man, these, the weekly top, everything, all these normal type Pokemon got such health. And we got uh, Flareon over here doing pretty much nothing. Alright, so this is... I hope Wigglytuff finishes off stage 2. Yep, it is. Alright. Keep them away. Let's actually keep you guys here. Stall for Flareon real quick. One more should do. Uh, do one more actually. There we go. Flareon's up. Let's go ahead and light screen. Withdraw. How did Flareon get there so quick? Alakazam, are you coming back, bro, or what? Where the broskies at? <clears throat> Ooh, the damage. Alright, uh, defensive on withdraw for sure. I do not need the light screen, especially with the current Pokemon that we're facing off against. And here goes boss mode. Withdraw on the run, light screen on the run, and facing off against... Okay, Clefable. Interesting. Gonna be super tanky though, I'll tell you that much. Let's just re-pop some defensives. Oh man. Uh, yeah, flamethrower. Oof, oof, okay. Uh, Flareon, way to go. Oh man, you just took a nap. No one needs the naps. No one needs the naps. Run away, team. Uh, we can't protect you, Flareon. I'm so sorry. Get a burn off, though, if you can. Alright, hit him up with the withdraw. Hit him up with the light screen. Alright, we got 2v1 right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can stall until Flareon gets back up on the feet. Clefable's defensive capabilities are good, but they're not amazing. So we, I mean, this is looking pretty positive right now. It does have a lot of damage, though. So it's interesting. Uh, Flareon about to come up right now, so this is, uh, this is looking good. We do get a confusion off right now. See if we can get a burn. Burn, burn, burn. On the ring of fire, my G. Nope, but we do got it confused. So, good job to uh, your boy Alakazam. Wow, we were able to complete this. Very good. Rado Sloth. Uh, you better be sorry because I just completed it, my broski. Sweet. Stage cleared. Uh, something did 40k damage. I saw that. I was actually shocked. It, it just went from like... It just dropped like 30% of its health in like a... Snap of the finger. That was shocking. Uh, Alakazam, Cloyster, good to go. And I to be honest, I believe it was Flareon. I think there was a, a nasty crit with Flareon. I'm not 100% sure. Or the confusion from Alakazam made it do... I don't even know. To be honest, I don't even know. That was 40k damage that just came out of nowhere. Alright, so we've made it to boss mode on Expedition 8. We're definitely not going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, pick up some gems and put them into slots. It did have, it was confused at that point in time, yes. Interesting, I just got a Clefairy earlier too. 
And I'm pretty sure that's what caused that. <coughs> Could have hit itself with its own damage, with its own move, but I don't know if that's even possible in this game. Uh, 308? Yes, you can actually take that. Sweet. Team got just two upgraded gems right now. That's good. Uh, Jaboy with a 302, 302, 299, 299. Let's go ahead and give Flareon the two upgrades as well. Uh, we got the 286 coming out, and we also got the 277 coming out. Perfect. Looking great so far. Looking really, really good. We're getting there. Keep it going. Team total, 76.22. Go ahead and get back into another expedition. So, with that being said, 10,800 is for 7-5. 11,600 for 9-4. I mean, I know 10-2 is only 9,200, but I just... I had no chance for some reason on that. The 10,807-5 was a lot easier to me than the 10-2, 9,200. <clears throat> we'll figure it out though. I want to go ahead and do some attempts on Expedition 9. We have four, so perfect. Let's go ahead and recap Expedition 9 while we're at it. Hello there, Lee Gave. Hashtag YT. I'm assuming that means YouTube. It, that could be the tr that could be true, Sylveon. But that, that I mean that is probably true. Also, for those of you tuning in, I do have this one on auto at the moment. Should be able to cakewalk through this one. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get through this real easy. <clears throat> Recap in Expeditions 7, 8, 9, and 10 while we are capable of doing so. Also, I need some uh, experience on some of my Pokemon to go ahead and level them up. I've had Cloyster Flareon and Alakazam for the longest times. These are like the original Pokemons on my team. I've had them since ever, since Expedition, like 1 and 2. Oh, especially Flareon. Flareon was my starter. But Cloyster came in as a shelter early game, tanking like a boss through Expeditions 1 through 5. Alakazam doing bits early game as Abra 2, even though I hated it so much because its defensive capabilities were not there. But I knew it was going to turn into a beast. I'm shocked, actually. Uh, Cloyster is actually doing a lot of damage for how terrible its attack rating is, and also Alakazam's doing a lot of work as well. Three to four K auto attacks. You're sick at this game. What, uh, what type of uh? Oh, you suck. Oh. Well, how far have you gotten? I'm kind of new to the game. I've only been playing it for a couple of weeks. And the main reason is because I'm waiting for my computer to get back. Which will be Monday. For the 24 hour live stream. But uh, yeah, I've decided to play some mobile games. Because I have yet to miss a live stream day in all of 2018. And I did not want to miss a live stream day. So, I mean, I want to keep the streak going. <clears throat> so I decided to play this one. Like only two, the fourth thing. Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, just keep playing it. I mean, it's actually, a I, th I found this a pretty fun game. I was uh, very, I was very doubtful how interesting this game would be before I played it. But now that I'm playing it, I'm glad, I, I was kind of glad my computer has been gone for a bit. But I'm not, I'm not uh, super happy with what happened with my computer while it was gone because of what they've done. But, uh. All in all, I've been able to play some piece, uh, mobile games, sorry, and it's actually been pretty fun. We're going to get through this really easy. Uh, Alakazam, just finish this Haunter off, my G. <laughs> Cloyster goes in for the kill. <sighs> Funny. Alright. Please be upgradable. Don't think it is, but it could be. So Cloyster is the next one to get a gem. I really hope it sticks with the sturdy trend. I do not need... Oof. That's a great sturdy stone. I do not need uh, Cloyster to have any mighty stones at all whatsoever. 
place there's just the beast tank. Alright, let's see what we pick up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add and switch out. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so what do we got? The 308? Yep, 308. 20317. Cloister at 2350 health. Wow. 360 base attack. It's a space attack anyway, so it has no mighty stones, so. Stacking the health on this bad boy though. He's a great tank. Check out Alakazam real quick. Should get this upgrade from the 308. So the 302 into the 308. Perfect. Florian can go ahead and grab this 302 really quick. 302 into the 302. 299. 297. I'm going to keep that gem just for a little bit. I got some slots to spare. So 7642 now. We're getting there. We're getting there. All, almost all of my team is level 40 plus, so that's also a good sign. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this next expedition really quickly. 9-2. 9k, but we do get a bonus, and my team's pretty pretty sick, so should be good to go. But for those of you tuning in, thank you all very much for tuning in to youtube.com slash for the win Itachi. Check out that description box on the top. You will be able to find 24-hour live stream information and tons of giveaways. So if interested in all any any and all of those giveaways, be sure to enter them soon. Uh, the giveaways end on the uh, on Tuesday coming up. Um, I have a 24-hour live stream coming up on Monday and Tuesday. Monday leading into Tuesday. And I will be announcing the winners uh, towards the end of that live stream. You do not have to be live during the, the winner announcement because I will contact you guys anyways. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just hopefully I get to see some of you guys during the 24-hour live stream. Uh, if you guys want details on it, wow, Voltorb. That was nasty damage, bro. You about to take, wow, that was a nasty amount of damage, Voltorb. But anyways, yeah, check out that description box down below. Tons and tons of goodie links. Tons of giveaways as well for that 24-hour live stream. And they're all live. So, I mean, you guys can go ahead and uh, enter in the giveaways right now. Uh, we got one for Adidas. We got one for Origin PC. Got one for GT Omega Racing. Got one for Razer. Got one for... What else do we got down below? I know I have a personal giveaway myself. Now, for the Winatachi merch, as well as a uh, webcam. Um, we also, I mean, I think that's it. There's probably one more. There's a couple of give. Oh, World of Warcraft has a giveaway as well, of course. Why not? That's what we're going to be playing during the 24-hour live stream. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and take down this ride on as quickly as possible. I hate trade evolutions in general, but I understand why they do it. But I'm just not a fan of them because I don't got friends. And when you don't got friends, it's not easy to trade. Back in the day, you could just hook up a cord. When you, like, let's say you had Pokemon Red, you can hook up a cord to a Pokemon Blue, and just like trade with a wire. But nowadays, you need friends or you can just, I mean, simply just go ahead and do the, what's it called, the Wonder Trades. <laughs> wonder Trades for days. Thank you very much, Galaxy, for the sub. <laughs> Riku, Raikou, what's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. <clears throat> oh, he knows what's up. I'm surprised at how weak this ride arm is. Uh, I'm uh, of course, of course. I'm surprised at how weak this this ride on is. <clears throat> you usually get traded a lot. All right. Uh, please be an upgrade, my squad. I'm so really. I'm, I'm so looking forward to Monday. You guys don't even know. Get back my computer. 24-hour live stream. Launch event for Battle for Azeroth. You guys don't even know. The only sad thing is I have to wake up really early to go pick up my computer from UPS. That's the only bad thing. So it's going to be like a 35 plus hour 
being awake straight. But because of that, I do have some things that I'm going to have to do. Does anyone want to in Pokemon Ultra Moon? Uh, let's see. I do play Pokemon Ultra. I actually have Ultra Moon as well. I wish I could. Li I wish I could live stream Nintendo 3DS games. That would be lit. Uh, 307, 299 gone. So I'm going to keep those two gems for the time being. I'm getting a lot of sturdy stones today. Not getting too much mighty. Alright, 7678. How many more expeditions do we currently got for right now with this time being? Uh, we got two more. Um, we did a quest. I'm not 100% sure what that is. And for those of you wondering what that noise is in the background, it's my dog. Alright, let's see. Not right now. I actually want to attempt uh, 9-4. The reason being, even though it's a lot more challenging than the 7-5, supposedly, number-wise, you never know. Just like the, uh, I did Expedition 8 before Expedition 7, so I might be able to take care of it based off of uh, type advantage. So I want to go ahead and give it an attempt to see what it's all about because I have yet to see it. Because right now it's been a lot of uh, water type Pokemon, which does suck. But I've also seen some rock types as like the final bosses in Expedition 9. So I might be able to get through that pretty decently. Even though fire type's not great against rock. But Cloyster can actually deal some damage. And then Alakazam's always great. And for some reason Flameflower is still going to be lit. Even if it's against water and rock types. It just still does a lot of damage, especially when it can get the burn off. If it can get the burn off, that that melts through uh, melts through Pokemon because uh, those type of abilities, confusions, burns, toxic or poison, sorry, uh, they don't deal with the defenses in this game, so they just straight up deal the damage no matter what. But I know seven five or Expedition Seven is currently kind of out of my league. Based off of yesterday's attempts, I kind of was not close. So, yeah. I'd like to see what Expedition 9's got in store. Alright, so it sucks that Flareon is very low on health, but uh, even if it does die, it will come back with some decent amount of health. So, Cloyster should. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Dugong. Of all Pokemon, the Watcher types. This one, this one, this expedition was actually not easy. Sadly, I don't. Um, where do you, is Soul Worker a mobile game or? Console or PC? I've not. I haven't heard of it. I'm surprised Flareon stayed alive that long. So to be honest, Flareon did a great job right there. My team's gonna stay alive for a good amount of time, so Flareon will be able to get back up. I just need Alakazam to uh, try to get away from that Dugong and deal some damage to the seals. The seals need to go away. <clears throat> the seals can deal some nasty damage. Alright, so Flareon is back. I'm, I'm kind of afraid I might need to play this. Oh, perfect. Great job, Flareon. You get the double burn off. Oh, but they're going to just destroy themselves. Yep. Hit, up, uh, hit us up with another flamethrower right now. Now. Alright, I need to play Yep, I need to play this. I can't. The computer's not playing this correctly. <clears throat> Got a spam withdraw on uh, Jaboy. Man, this Dugon moves a little bit too much. Mm. 
No, it's frozen. Nah, I'm good. Cloyster doesn't die. Yeah, my boy Cloyster doesn't die, so I'm good. I just decided to take this over and not play it on auto. Stop getting frozen, Flareon. For some reason, Cloyster was just taking damage because the computer was not using withdraw. But, I mean, it's not going to take any any damage. Perfect. Yeah, I had to play that. For some reason, we could have lost. We almost did. Flareon, level 41. Nice. 301, another decent sturdy stone. So, it's another upgrade. I know that for a fact. Cooking should be done after this... Well, that was nice. What the hell was that? I don't need no Amber Alerts when I'm live streaming, fam. How loud How loud was that? How loud was that, guys? Was, did that, was that loud? Because that was freaking loud on my end. That scared the hell out. I hate those things so much. Oh, Amber Alerts, boys. Those things, whenever they turn on on the TV or they turn on your phone, oh my gosh. I can't even hear the game sound right now because I have to keep it low because it's being taken from the mic. But wow, that shocked me. Oh, it's not even an upgrade anymore. Okay, that's weird. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of them then. We're well into the 300s now. I hate Amber Alerts. Alright, so 7680 is the team total. I do apologize for that, guys. And lead this. I'm sorry. So we're going to give this an attempt. It is 11,600, which is a lot more difficult than Expedition 7. Expedition 7, I have no chance of being able to do. But I just want to see what this is all about. Oh, for sure. For sure, Sylveon. Definitely playing Magikarp Jump after this. Alright, so since this is a difficult expedition that I really don't think we're going to get through, I just want to see what we have to deal with. I'm going to play this myself and turn it off on auto. Perfect. Got ground type Pokemon. Exactly what I wanted to see. What's up, Kooky Kitty? I hope I pronounced that right. I mean, it looks like I did. <laughs> the damage oh we're actually getting through this pretty good stage one fighting types now oh my gosh we're this is looking this is looking good this is looking pretty good I just want to get through the stages and see what the boss is how'd you no how'd you miss every single one Alakazam what are you doing All right, we got to reapply our defensive shields. Uh, actually, run away. Oh, no. Actually, that was perfect, running away. All right, reapply our defensives while Flareon unleashes a devastating flamethrower. What did you just do? What move was that? Machoke. Oh, I hope we're not facing off against a Machamp. The second best attacking Pokemon in the game. Please don't give me Machamp. Alakazam, Machamp, and Golem are the top three Pokemon in the game. Golem, because of uh, defense. Machamp, because of buffs and attack. And Alakazam, because of straight up attacks. I have no idea what's going on, so I'm just going to say hello and good luck on what's going on. Oh, what's up, smiling alpaca? It's just basically a mobile game on uh, for Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you've heard of Pokemans. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty decently fun mobile game. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. 
Oh my gosh. Yes! It's a steel type called Magneton. Yay! We actually have a chance of doing this. Hit him up with the devastating flamethrowers. Look at this. Alright, reapply your defensives. Oh, this is actually doable. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no. I forget. Oh no, he just... Okay, run away, guys. This is doable. I don't think it is, but... I'm, ass I'm assuming once it gets to a certain amount of health, it's going to summon some other stuff, so that's going to be bad. Oh, you so lucky, Magnetron, that I could, did not have Withdraw up. There should be. I'm surprised we have yet to see one. Uh, run away. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, no, 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 no. I got, I got, a, I got a huge problem right now. Yep, called it. Here it is. Uh, we got a huge problem. Oh, uh, no. Withdraw, please. Come on. Run away. Yeah, this is not doable because uh, I knew he was going to be able to do it. I knew he was going to do this. I can't. Is your boy... Oh, the self-destructs, man. Cloyster's about to die. Alakazam's about to die. If I can get you... No! Why'd you knock him out? Cloyster! How did you just take that? Oh, he's paralyzed. This is bad. Yep, he's paralyzed. He's not going to be able to withdraw, and he's about to take some huge damage. What's going on? Oh, he's actually alive. Oh, no, he just respawned. Oof! I need Flareon so bad. Hit him up! Uh-oh. Yep, he's done. <laughs> No, the angles! The angles! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, come on. Flareon, get in there and give it some devastating stuff. I'm one shot. Can you? Oh no, he died too though! Oh no, help! Look at it! Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, so close. I'm surprised I got that far though. I'm surprised I got that far. My team, my team should not even gotten that far. Alright, so I know I can be able to do that soon. My team total rating is 7,600. That was 11,600 that your team rating needs to be to be able to complete that, but I was one shot away. I got that. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this up. Mulligan to a la cube. Definitely. Thank you all very much. Got that. That one and Expedition 7. What's up? It's Cool Puff. This is uh, called Pokemon Quest. I am playing it on my cell phone for the time being. Um, I will be playing on uh, my Nintendo Switch when I get my computer back from uh, technical support so I can uh, use my webcam and all that stuff again. So I'll be doing that soon. But for the time being, I'm playing on a mobile device. Uh, Excel size and good. So this is going to be a good Pokemon, or a decent one, I should say, level-wise. What timing is this? Magnemite. Facing off against a Magnetron, we get a Magnemite. Level 55. That knows... What is it? Super... Oh. I, I really don't understand this. All these high level Pokemon I am getting, they are just so bad. The move sets that they know it just makes no sense. Alright, how many? Five. Okay, so we got one more expedition. Let's go ahead and give it an attempt. Um Thank you very much, Smiling Alpaca. I hope to see you around. Uh let's go ahead and give 10-2 an attempt today as well, even though this one was kinda difficult for me. Should be decent, though. 
last expedition for the day, but we are not done. Alright. Pre withdraw, pre light screen. Oh no, water types. This is not gonna be good. This is why I found this one difficult. I remember this whole thing now. Yeah, this is gonna be really hard. Flareon's like almost useless in this. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, withdraw. Light screen. Let's go. Oh, we got a legendary gem and a regular. We got to complete this. All good, Raikou. I'm going to keep calling you Raikou. I like that better. <laughs> See you around, though. Yeah, I remember this expedition all too well. I got to take care of the shoulders first. Yeah, Flareon gets kind of destroyed in this, which is mostly all of my damage. Alakazam does good damage, but I mean... Cloyster basically does zero damage because it's just a tank for me. So that's going to be the problem in this expedition because it's all water types. Flareon's kind of just struggle here. But we, cl we cleared the first two waves. Go ahead and pre-withdraw on light screen again. Just keep spamming it until we get there. Alright, here we go. Three horses. Without further ado, let's do the AoEs first. Get the knockbacks out of the way. And launch. That's one down. Two down. One more to go. I've never questioned a design. One thing I do question is Ash and Pokemon Sun and Moon. But an actual Pokemon design? Trubbish and Garbodor. I mean, they're basically like the new Grimers and Muck. In me, to my, to me. Oh, why are you guys just standing in the spikes, though? Why are you guys just? I can't, I can't make you guys do anything. You're just standing in the spikes. <clears throat> I'm surprised Alakazam is taking almost all the damage compared to uh, Flareon here. That's actually not good. This Flareon's about to get slaughtered by this boss. Oh man, Speedy Speedra, Speedy Speedra. All right. Start off with the flames. What's all, oh, my boy, David Beckham? How the hell did you get that name, my fam? What's going on? What's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. Alright, so Flareon... Uh, Alakazam's actually already dead. This is not good. And Flareon's done as well. Mine's definitely can't tell. Thank you very much. Hope to see you around, Cookie Kitty. A uh, Cuckoo Kitty, sorry. Um, are you okay, Flareon? How are you? Okay, I was gonna say, how are you still alive? What's going on here? Yeah, this is not looking good at all. And the issue is, my Pokemon. Just, oh, here we go again with the walls. Cloyster doesn't deal damage, so that's a huge problem. Yeah, we're, we're stuck. Game's bugged again. Stupid corners. Kadabra, if you do come back, can you uh, attack the correct Pokemon? Thank you, both of those. Yeah, kill the horsies for me, Alakazam. That's all we need. If we can get those guys out of the way, we're good. No, the horsies. You're just taking more damage. Alright, Bubble should get rid of the horsey. I can't move. Um, oh my gosh, one shot. So, anytime Flareon comes up, I have to use takedown, because it's going to get one shot no matter what. Perfect. They split up. That is not to perfecto. Keeping Flareon away as much as possible so we can kind of come up when Alakazam's kind of up. 
Cloud Pokemon Quest. Oh my gosh. Flareon, stop. <clears throat> oh, what's going on? Cloyster, move. Yeah, Surf is a little bit OP. I moved out of that one though. Did you not get an attack off? And what's funny is Cloyster's a water type and it's still taking a lot of damage from Surf. Yep, I'm dumb. <laughs> we both just said the same thing. Yeah, this I, for some reason I can't get through this expedition. I'm, oh man. I'm gonna take it. I, I, I don't do that too much, but that's a legendary gem and it's in a very powerful expedition, so it should be good. Oh, ha, 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 I'm so glad I took that. <clears throat> I think that's my best Mighty Stone, and it is legendary. It'll help us get through some expeditions for sure. Um, since it's a Mighty Stone, Cloyster has no Mighty Stones, so I'm just going to go ahead and check up Alakazam real quick. Oh my gosh. That Mighty Stone is next level. And a 328. Two upgrades for Flareon, one for Alakazam, getting the best Mighty Stone that I've got. Uh, 322, sorry. Perfecto. Go ahead and grab some Cooking Regents from that. We should get an upgrade on the team level as well here. Seven, 7741, so yeah, that's going to help us in the next expedition attempt that we do. Alright, 15 minutes until we can do another expedition, so most likely not going to be able to do one, but I am going to check some stuff out. I'm going to stay till the end, even though it's midnight where I am. Almost one. Ah, so you are about an hour ahead of me. 11.42 where I live. I got to remind myself to back up data after the live stream. Alright, check out some quests real quick. All right, good. Yeah, you're an hour ahead. All right, anything else to do? Let's go ahead and check out some training then while we're at it. This is what I've been trying to do. I might have to pause and wait. But Flareon, I need to change your moves. So without further ado, we have a lot of Pokemon that we can put in here. So that's only 38%. Yeah, it's only 38%. What is this? What is this trash? All those high-level Pokemon, 63, 61, and 55, as well as 35, and you only get 38%. Alakazam, what if I put you in? 74%. Oh, hey, we're talking. We are talking here. And Cloyster? 73% as well. Okay, I mean, this is doable. So... I need to Google something, so give me a second. I know you guys can still see this. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. My phone lagging. My phone lagging hard. I do not want to track a UPS package. You guys can find you guys can probably figure out what that is. Alright. Um Yay, hey, you guys get to see my search history. Alakazam Pokemon Quest Move List. <laughs> I need to figure out what he learns. Wait, why can't I type in a V? Oh well, for some reason I can't push V. IGN.com, of course. Can be taught. Oh, I just saw it. Ready to go. Teleport, I don't want. Psy Beam, I do want. Light Screen, I don't want. Flash Barrier, I don't want. Psychic, I need. Dazzling Gleam, I could use. Psycho Cut, Recover, and Shadow Ball. 
So, moves that I want. Psybeam, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, and Recover. And Shadow Ball wouldn't be too bad. So, I need to get rid of Light Screen. So, there's a 73% chance. Let's just increase it to a 75% chance. And the reason why I am getting rid of the Pidgey instead of the Voltorb, I'm going to use that Voltorb to level up my Pikachu. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start some training. Please work. What is up with this game? God, I just lost all those Pokemon for nothing. Again. Well, Pikachu, you can level up three times. What is up with this game? I've had so many chances to... Oh. This game hates me. So much. I can't do it at a hundred... Well, I mean, it takes forever. I gotta farm off... I gotta farm... What's it called? Rest in the spaghetti. I gotta farm a psychic Pokemon to get a hundred percent. If I can get a fire or a psychic or a water type Pokemon, I can get their percentages higher. But the Pokemon that I was using, they're just never that type. Alright, so let's go into this camp. I was able to complete a new expedition today, so I was happy about that. Anything going on in the basic camp? I uh, don't think so. Decorations? No? Okay. Man, base camp empty now. I just wasted all my Pokemans. But anyways, for those of you that tuned in tonight, thank you very much for tuning in. We are not done. I am going to go ahead and play some Magikarp Jump. So I'm going to end this live stream. Going to go ahead and uh, set up the next one, which we will be back in like less than a minute. So stay tuned. Catch you guys in a minute if you guys want to check out some uh, Magikarp Jump. And I'll catch you guys then. See ya, Sylvia, and I'll catch you guys all in a bit.